to the Citizen Channel a little bit hoarse tonight. I wonder why. It's always great beating them. Even if we beat them with a sluchy goal in injury time, it doesn't matter. But when we sort of uh, beat them a score, I predicted 3-1. Uh, yeah, I think we can be happy with that, can't we? Yeah, City 3, United 1, of course. City win, United lose. Derby 1-9-2. One, one, you used to get the 1-9-2 to work. Uh, yeah, that's a long, long time ago. Uh, 3rd of March, uh, match day 27. Uh, important win, of course, uh, with the next league game up at Armfield. Armfield, Armfield as well as Armfield, Armfield, yeah, it will be, it will be Armfield, it might be armor, armor needed, at Armfield. 3.30pm kick-off uh, today, of course, uh, yeah, it's just a great win, guys, as I say, it's, it's always nice to beat that rabble into, let's be honest about it. Well, I'll look at Simon Bukowski's thoughts on the players, my thoughts on the players as well, yeah, generally agree-ish. A couple of slight differences. Let us know your thoughts and opinions as well. Your man of the match as well. I think uh, I think we've got a full house on that today. I think everyone agreed who the man of the match was. And please, if you've already, if you can, have a go at my little February City quiz that's out there as well. And of course, uh, my part one, my little tribute to Stan Bowles, rest in peace. So that'll be out. That's out there on the channel as well. So have a look at those two guys. Uh, please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything City, past, present, and as long as I can keep going, which my old heart can take. I was pretty calm today, actually. Very calm today. I'm not usually that calm for derbies, but I, I had faith, I think. Well, I had something, or it might have been the uh, tranquilizers I took, I'm not sure. So uh, please join me, let me know your thoughts. Great to have them. And of course, uh, give, give us a like, guys. Give us a like for that wonderful win today. Give City a like and give me a like. In all comments, I will try and respond or just give you a like if that's all it needs. Right, on to the ratings. Edison, our goalkeeper, could do nothing, Simon said with the goal. And was alert to a few dangerous United breaks after that. Yeah, he's given a seven. Uh, yeah, no chance with that goal. Um, obviously, I'm in the south stand. Uh, couldn't get anywhere near it. It was just a cracking goal. Um, might have been something in the build. I've not had a chance to watch it back that uh, we could have closed down a bit better. I'm not too sure, but... Edison's not doing anything with that. There's one sort of close one in the second half where he sort of run out of his box and from our angle it looks as though he'd be struggling to get there before the United player but I think he just about did and got a block in and obviously of course I don't know who it was the United player but it's down on the floor. So apart from that not a lot to do really. I think United had three shots the whole game but I'll give him a 6.5 anyway although he didn't have a lot to do. Walker, Simon said, generally good going forward and useful countering Rashford's pace, although got a ticking off from Guardiola trying to force a game. Yeah, he sort of made Rashford fall over a couple of times. Unfortunately, didn't make, make him fall over for the goal. But uh, another waste of a shot I noticed in the second half. I don't know, can't, was it 1-1 one, one at the time? I'm not too sure, but another straight, uh, even a nine, I couldn't have let that one in straight at him. I think he went missing a couple of times when United got free. He was sort of uh, playing running back, trying to catch up, but he couldn't quite do it. Yeah, but I don't think overall he had such a bad game. I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty positive. So Simon's giving him a seven. I'm going to give him a 6.5. Stones, Simon said, push forward, linking with the, uh, push forward well, linking the team was one of the most patient in possession. Yeah, it just, just brought that ball out nicely, didn't it? I mean, sometimes he's, it just reminds me of Rodri sometimes. Uh, he sort of was in defence and then casually moved forward. Generally did well. I only noticed one or two sort of poorish balls uh, that he made a bit of a mess of. But Simon's given him a seven. I'm going to give him a seven as well. Uh, Diaz uh, beaten by Fernandez, said Simon. I, I don't remember that one. For the United goal and a few roping moments in the first half, but stepped up as the game went on. Yeah, I just thought it was very good. The second half, he seemed to be at the centre of, of everything, very solid, uh, stopping any sort of United attempts to get out of midfield. So Simon's given him a seven, I give him a seven as well. Aki showed his intelligence, said Simon, playing through the lines and progressing the team up the pitch with simple balls. Yeah, I thought Aki was excellent uh, going forward as well, which is not his forte, is it? But defensively, I thought it was excellent. And I think going forward, he was excellent. Um, and I think he coped very well with what, what little United did, off, did offer. So... Uh, you know, without being spectacular, just did his job very, very well. Simon's given him a seven. I give him a seven as well. Rodri couldn't get on the ball enough in the early stages, said Simon, but once he was on it, United couldn't get him off it. Yes, he, he found it a lot easier as United's heads dropped a little bit in that second half when he came under the cosh. And I found it a lot easier. Didn't I think it was the assist, wasn't it, for Haaland, although uh, some poor, lazy defending by United trying to, trying to move that ball out. But, uh, yeah, uh, Simon's given him an eight. I'm not going to go with that mad on Rodri. I'll give him a 7.5. I will be 
generous for me. Foden, Simon said, another man of the match award to go with a cabinet bursting with them this season. Two terrific goals. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought initially it was a bit wasted where he was playing right out on the ride, on, or out wide. So I thought it was a little bit wasted, but as soon as, as soon as he starts coming inside, then that's when he causes palpitations, of course, amongst all the United players. Two superbly taken goals. Yeah, and I wonder who the man of the match will be. Anyway, Simon give him a nine. I give him a nine as well. De Bruyne seemed to rush the ball too often, looking for that killer ball that never really came off. Yeah, I keep looking at him, making sure he was okay, that he didn't look too tired, or I think he'll probably get a rest, of course, on Wednesday. But yeah, he did not quite, nothing really came off today. He had a couple of a couple of wafty ones that could have gone anywhere, but a couple of good ones that perhaps we weren't in the right place at the right time for. But uh, yeah, not as influential as usual, but. It was okay, as I said, as long as he's fit and he's okay, as I say, one of his quieter games. Simon's given him a six. I can't really argue with that. I give him a six as well. Bernardo, yes, Bernardo, where are we? I've lost him now. Yeah, not as sharp as you he usually is in these contests, said Simon. Tied in some aspects, but not as clinical as he would like. Yeah, I think he grew into it. It's, it's difficult with these games. When they kick the wrong way, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I don't mind him kicking towards the south stand coming back. But I like, I, if we're winning, I like to see the defences doing the job. But of course, it wouldn't matter today. United had, had an attack anyway. But uh, yeah, I thought Bernardo sort of grew into it. I think, like, like some of the other players, I think the second half once United started struggling and realising it was going to be hard work this uh, I thought he played better in and around the box as well and I, I don't particularly remember giving too much away uh, Simon's given him a 7 I'd give him a 7 as well Doku yes probably the, the lesser performance of the day I think I think most people would agree with that although I did have him my start in 11 Simon said an interesting call to start him over Kovacic and one that didn't really pay off with the winger wasteful in possession before being hooked early yeah I just thought, thought this was a chance for him to sort of step up against not the greatest United defence, you know, perhaps beat a player then get a nice crossing, but, but you know, he, again, he did, he did a lot of work, a lot of running around and a lot of scolded cat movement, I'd call it, where, you know, he perhaps didn't release it at the right time, but he did have a poor game, um, bit of a waste of a player, really, I think, you know, you know obviously I've no objections if Kovacic had started, but I think Doku, I don't think Doku grabbed his opportunity today. I think he should have been a bit calmer with it and just move it on. If you can't beat a player, just move it on. Just circulate it. That's all Jack does. He's got to learn this, I think. And I think I don't think he'll be seeing many games between now and the end of the season the way it's going. Simon give him a five. I can't disagree. I've given him a five as well. Harlan Simon said a few misses already before his orange show on the stroke of half time and a late goal. Build up play was decent, but that won't get headlines. Yeah, well, I've just watched it back, and even in the ground, of course, we're up the other end. I thought, why didn't you just put your head on it? Um, why does it have to be always something spectacular early? I mean, why? Uh, he was had a poor first half, but I thought second half he made up for it a little bit. And of course he got a goal as well, which he took pretty well. Um, but obviously, can you forgive that shocking miss? You probably can, not in a game like that, when it's 1-0, it's coming up to our time. It was, it was a crucial time to score a goal and he usually does that. But then again, the goal he scored, it was 2-1. So it just made it 3-1 for us. So, you know, he sort of sorted out eventually. But I, I thought it was a bit disappointing. So I'd give him a six. I'm, it was a shocking miss, but I'll give him a 6.5 because I thought second half he was better and he scored a great third goal to kill the game. So I'll be slightly more generous. Alvarez, Simon said uh, he came on for Doku 59. Simon said, work well to assist Foden for the second. Yeah, I thought he looked far. He looked, I think Alvarez will look, looks far better off the bench at the moment against perhaps teams that are uh, sort of tiring or struggling over a, a goal or two to advantage. I think Alvarez can do a perform a better job than when he's been starting games. Of course, uh, Pep has been playing him quite a lot. But uh, yeah, I thought he did very well very well off the bench and he was on for over an half an hour, so I will mark him. Simon gave him a seven and I give him a seven. I can't quibble with that. And of course, Bob came on for Phil on 90 minutes just to stop his time introduction and give us a chance to to sing Ole Ole didn't it and Oscar Bob 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 so there you go player ratings the man of the matches of course Simons has to be folding 9 out of 10 City I believe gave it folding had a quick look on the site looks as though they give it folding and of course it'll be a full house you've got to give it I don't think we could give it anyone else really apart from folding I thought it was tremendous uh, and as I said a little bit wasted I thought to start the game but once you start venturing inside that's when he caused lots and lots of problems so 
not too much stuck out on the wing. I want him to be in 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 the mixer, if you like. I think that he's far more effective, as we can see. So there you go, guys. Let me know your scores. Let me know any any differences, anything you thought. Have we been cruel with anybody? Have we been overly nice to someone? Just let us know. It would be great to hear from you. As I said, the Talking Point show or my story of the game will be out uh, very soon. Probably I'm recording this Saturday night. I'll probably put the Talking Point show out Sunday because it'll be a bit late by the time I get it out. I'll see how I go. See how, see, see how I go. Get Take my eyes out. Put my glasses on. Uh, have a cup of tea. Have something to eat. And uh, see, see where we are. If I have a bit of ravioli tonight. Have a celebratory ravioli there you go tonight so uh, keep your eyes open for that talking points and don't forget my Pepsi 11 match preview of course uh, for Copenhagen that'll be out uh, on Monday as well yes Monday hour. I didn't say Sunday before don't worry don't, don't get confused this is Sunday so yes the, the uh, talking point show will be out on on Monday uh, not Sunday because I'm losing track of my days and, and same with the Copenhagen that'll be out uh, in the afternoon on Monday and of course check out my city quiz as I mentioned and that little tribute part one of the tribute part two will be following sometime over the next few days when I can sneak it in my city tribute to uh, Stan Bowles rest in peace so uh, join me for those thanks for watching guys let me know your thoughts let me know your scores it'll be great to hear from you until we meet again only oh, yes, one thing and felt more like singing the blues city win United lose yep yeah. Stay safe, guys, and I'll hopefully see you very, very soon. Come on, city. Bye for now.